Hey there, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And this is brought to you by Spiritual Guidance Academy with Nicole. So um, this is only going to be featured on this channel and this channel only. Alrighty. So Cancer, um, for those of you may, the, the, may be unfamiliar with me, again, I'm Carolyn B. And uh, I'm a tarot reader. I am a certified angel oracle reader and definitely highly recommend Nicole. She has helped me greatly. So I'll just talk to you a little bit about Cancer. Uh, your ruling planet is the moon. All right, you are a water sign. And I'm not a Cancer, I'm a Taurus, but my moon is in Cancer. So that pretty much is like a representation of like someone's heart, I guess, if you will. All right, feelings and this and that. And uh, you may hear people be like, well, cancers are always all about feelings. They're, you know, they talk crazy and this and that. It's just like, hey, wait, wait one minute. You know, uh, crosswatcher, this can go vice versa. Maybe you don't have cancer anywhere in the breakdown of your astrological chart. However, if you landed upon this reading or across this reading, it was most likely not by accident. So let's just get right into it. This is not gender specific, but let's see here. Spring, see your seeds grow. All right, so that actually, uh, you know, it looks like the bunny, jackrabbit, hair, you know, for this card. I'm also noticing the lavender in the background there. All right, springtime, you know, watching your manifestations come to fruition, you know, um, Pretty much spring, uh, this could have to do with children. Uh, maybe if you're having trouble with children, doesn't necessarily have to do with that. Could be fur babies, could be adoption, could be uh, getting into a relationship, a new relationship, a new beginning is basically what this is. You know, maybe they've got kids or maybe you got kids and or uh, possibly maybe having trouble with kids or maybe um, finding out children are having children, if you will, and you're just like, what am I going to do? <laughs> Now, don't worry, that's not for all of you. All right, very, very generalized very quickly. However, on a more serious note, I see that this is a wonderful card. Um, people may say that about you. I mean, my moon's in cancer again, so people, you hold things down. You know, you're going to want to be careful of that. I'm not a medical doctor, lawyer, anything like that. However, you can make yourself sick by overstressing. I mean, that's pretty much proven. All right, so uh, also, too having that like empty feeling like, uh, all right, disaster after disaster after disaster happening. And it's just time to move forward. You've been doing the work and not necessarily seeing the results. So that can be very aggravating. And by the time anyone, you know, even bothers to ask how your day was, it just kind of blah comes out. And that's where they kind of get that because it's just so frustrating. It's just like, are they listening to me or are they just hearing me or even anything? <laughs> And uh, pretty much this is a very positive card. I'm really liking that. Again, the lavender, you could definitely use some uh, lavender incense, you know, lavender oils, you know, maybe some lavender candles. You know, I hear Nicole has a cool shopping club where, uh, yeah, you can get all types of stuff like that. You know, definitely check that out with her. This is also watching your, what was uh, kind of like, dead spring back to life. All right. Um, you know, if everything in your life has fallen apart, you're going to notice definitely, especially in the spring, that's that new energy, you know, uh, is this new found empowerment. And this is wonderful. This really is, you know, uh, the lavender may help relax you, calm you. You definitely need a spa day, <laughs> you know, finances, you're going to see that grow. All right pull this card here. That's really uh, interesting. I believe we pulled that. Was it for Taurus or Gemini? You know, definitely feel free to go back and check out those videos. But that is the death of a situation that no longer served you. And it may have been painful, may have hurt, but you needed to get whatever that was out of your life. Could have been a bad relationship. Could have been that pesky ex that just doesn't want to ever see you happy and always calls cross watcher. <laughs> Again, this can go vice versa or have nothing to even do with you. All right. Um, Again, this could be a situation that you're dealing with, but this is something that needed to happen in order for uh, you to grow. Sometimes disastrous things happen, but a blessing 
actually comes from it. And I know how difficult and hard that can be, you know, uh, so, you know, possible signs to be on the lookout for, uh, maybe some of you could be working with earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, maybe even Capricorn. All right. So for your last card here, we have these seven of pentacles here. See, watching things grow, all that no longer serves you gone. All right. And you're just going to be out there just like, which one, which, uh, you know, gift do I want to see today that I work for and I did? All right. So that is wonderful. And many blessings to all of you. And until next time.